Robert if you can have the afternoon off. I mean, I'm out half a day myself. I'm not poorly. It's my own fault for getting waylaid in Jarvis's shed. I don't think he had to drag you in the mood you were in last night. <clears throat> well, can you blame me? If I come home two minutes later, you might have been gone for good. And for what? Because your son's in Nick? Well, it's crazy. And it didn't make any more sense after a gallon of Jarvis's own brew, either. I might go and see Frank Bernard this afternoon and, and see what he intends doing when he comes out. Well, why don't I come with you? Then we can get all this out into the open. No, no. He does know about us. Oh, Pearl, for God's sake. How much more is there I don't know about? I did tell him about us. I just didn't mention that we were getting engaged. He does know we're living together. Does he know my name, even? On reflection, love, I think I'll stop here. What's wrong with her now? Nothing. Just get you tucked up proper for when your daddy comes out, we love. I said you should have put her dungarees on. Could you not find them? Well, I don't remember you saying that. They've gone too small anyway. You're telling me how to dress my children again? I can't say that I've said that before. But, well, she's comfortable as she is, aren't you, love? And now you want her to say that you're right and her mother's wrong. Oh, Zoe, hang on a minute, oh. will ya? Hi, Brenda. Right then, are we ready? Hello. Ready for what? What have I just been doing? I reminded you yesterday I was coming round. Oh, don't tell me you've forgotten. We arranged this ages ago. You can't. I have to take her out. When did we decide this? Excuse me, I'm talking to Scott. Well, carry on talking to Scott. Oof. I'll be in the kitchen having my dinner. Can you just give it to me, please? Sorry. Regardless of how we're getting on, don't start using her as a bargaining tool again. It's not fair. Mm, we have to get going. Mm. Should I even ask? I'll be like Richard III tomorrow if I miss me exercises. What, a strap of Yorkshire blog? You're too late for that. <laughs> You weren't saying that last night when you were supping me fine as dawn brew. Ah, no, and I've come to say thanks again. More for bending your ear, really. Yeah, there's all kinds of therapies you can see. Still, I might finish up with one of them six packs. Well, you're making my back ache just looking at you. Strikes me you're suffering enough without that. Any development? Nah, not much improvement, put it that way. Well, I'm not asked what's going on, but there's plenty left in barrel so long as it helps. I don't want to sound so vague, but bear with us. Just till I get a bit clearer on which way things are going. So long as you're up for Robin Linneman, don't bits I can't reach. <laughs> Shouts if you're desperate. <laughs> Can you not think of anything better to do than watching telly all afternoon? Oh. Yeah, it rots your brain. Well, I'm fed up. Uh, we'll nip outside, love, and get a bit of fresh air. We'd have struggled without you looking after Belle this holiday. Don't you go thinking we don't appreciate you. Yeah, well, I'll try telling my mum that. Well, try telling her anything. It's no that needs looking after. Yeah, well, they've got nannies for that over there. So? Tell you what, love, you take this. Go and get a toasty loaf and a half pound of butter, a couple of cans of beans. Any change you've got left, you can spend on toffees. I mean it, love. We'd be lost without you here. Yeah, well, I'm still fed up. Yeah, don't we just know it? Our charity seems to have some kind of special powers when it comes to sickening folk. Tell me about it. It's bad news, though, when your own mum don't want out to do with you. She's all right here, though. The damn sight better off. Well, I doubt she'd see it that way. Well, the sooner she realises the only person charity cares about is charity. Never you mind about that. You should be thinking about looking after Debbie, not putting one over charity. And don't you go hanging about. What have I said now? So how many is that? Four. But don't worry, this is for the villa in Torremolinos. Don't forget where you bought it. Huh? Oh, oh, it's not your day, I'm afraid. Don't remind me. Oh, give me another five. There. Do you know, it's like having your conscience following you around. Oh, well, you know what I think about all that business. You might as well throw your money down the grid. Oh, she's like a stack record. I need a lift, Edna, and these contain that possibility. Now, just leave me alone, will you? Two tins of dog food and wipe that silly smirk off your face. Right. Edna's dinner, 
coming up. You cheeky madam. That's money well spent, that is. At least I get something for it. A mess in your back garden. And you, lady, you'd be better off putting your money into your wedding. I bet Len doesn't know about all this, does he? Oh, he'll see you for what you are one of these days. References for those new drivers. They look all right to me. I think we should give them a go. All right. I'll take a look at them later. New life. Brings everything into perspective, don't it? When you're up to your neck in things like this. Bills, references. <laughs> so you say. Well, I've noticed you've been doing a lot more work outside lately. And I don't think it's just because of the weather. <laughs> One of the reasons why I bought this house was because it's big enough to run the business from. Not with that going on, it's not. Why are you so dead set on moving it somewhere where we can't see what you're up to? Well, grow up. If it's not full of oil or falling out of a golf bag, you don't understand it anyway. All right, take it easy, you two. Despite the fact that I am paying for this useless nanny, whatever her name is, I'd better go and see what's wrong with Noah. I might get some sense there. What's your problem? Watching your creeping, mostly. Are you sure? Or is it me moving in closer while you're on your way out? I'm talking houses, obviously. Fits in with your little plan, does it? Divide and conquer. Me? Nah. But after Carl's little stunt, I think my dad's expecting us to pull together, not be having a go at each other. Better for business. Carl's little stunt, as you call it, wouldn't have been half so bad if you hadn't decided to be Tony Soprano for the day. You're looking to line your own nest and screw everybody else and don't think we can't see it. Oh, so it's we now, is it? I'm sorry, but didn't you say something about divide and conquer? Hey! Anyway, what do you care? You've got a roof over your head. Not like me. Destitute. Oh, give over. Flut your eyebrows in my direction and you'll see me sighed. That's just so totally sexist. And anyway, it's your eyelashes, you flutter, prat. Not if you grab your marks. <laughs> yeah, because I'm sure that'd work. Oh, get us a pint of lager, Bob, will you? Anyway, what about your place? And I promise I'd wear a big dressing gown so as not to get you all excited. Well, I can forget that, then. Anyway, that'd be great. You can sit under the same roof, wouldn't it? No, oh, thanks. You're looking for digs, are you? Well, seeing as your brother's about to evict me, what do you think? I might have a spare room once I'm in Dale View, if you fancy it. It's amazing. No fluttering, nothing. Shut it, you. Um, when's this, then? I'm gonna come back as a duck, me. They mate for life, you know. Well, if you're interested, come on, have a look. I think it's possibly something we could talk about. Come around this afternoon, we'll see what we can sort out. I don't think you're being very fair not speaking. Better than saying too much, eh? I'm sorry about yesterday, but like I told you, nobody is any the wiser yet. Look, if it does get out, it won't be because of us. I've told Zach. I mean, he was just trying to be helpful in his way, that's all. I've told Leonard. He knows what's going on. Oh, you must be relieved getting that out of the way. How did he take it? Well, he went out and got drunk while he thought about it, so I don't know yet. Oh, he'd be thrown. You can't blame him. He'll come round. I don't think it's going to be that easy. We make a right pair of us, don't we? <laughs> You're going to the pub? Not stop you doing that, has it? Doctor's orders. Combination of exercise and anaesthetic. <laughs> don't tell me that you've run out of homebrew. I've not got round to bottling the next batch up yet. Len cleaned me out last night. His need being greater than mine, and that's saying something. Oh, is this physical or emotional? Some sort of bust up between him and Pearl. Well, I saw her earlier today. She never said anything. Well, knowing them two, it's generally either too trivial or, or too serious. Mm, she was very offhand. I mean, he's been going round like he's lost a fiver and found a shilling. Oh. <laughs> I thought you said you were going somewhere. I don't know what we're doing. Oh, I see. So going for a walk is more important than Jean spending the afternoon with her dad now, is that it? 
you following us? I've got more important things to do with my time, like work. You made me believe that it's someone you couldn't get out of. You're not taking it. Sorry, right, what's wrong with you? We're not going to go through all this again, are we? And what about Christopher? None of that would have happened if it hadn't been for you. You were cheating on me at the time, if that's what you mean. So why can't you just be fair for once? You leave us alone. It's all right, darling. No one's going to take you. Joseph, come on this side. See the bedroom arrangements. Well, I'll just hang out in mine till you can't stay out any longer. <laughs> Maybe this isn't gonna work. Oh, come on. If we can't have a laugh without getting all wound up, we're not gonna last long living in the same house, are we? And you, you're in the little bedroom. And what about priority for having lived here before? Why well, do you have the big room then? Yeah. Well, it's about time you had a change then, isn't it? And don't look at me like that, because I'm immune. You're just renting a very nice package. Whoa, is that a test? Have we got a deal then, or what? Don't mess about, do you? Well, why waste time, eh? What about the money? Well, I'll let you know when I've done a few sums. Don't worry, I won't squeeze you too hard. Oh, you say that now. I might even say it again. I can't stand single beds. That's all right, I'll order you a double. Just like that, money, no object. Move in when you like. How many times have I told you that you would come unstuck with her? You could do so much better for yourself if you weren't so pig-headed. Hey, hey, you're out of order. I could look after myself, thanks. I bet you didn't know that your wedding money is going over the counter at Big Hopes on, on silly scratch cards. Ten pounds at a time this morning. Yes, and if she'd have won, we'd have been getting married in Barbados. So just leave me alone. I'm too busy for all this. Now, what is more important? Uh, at the moment, this gearbox, so excuse me. You know, I never used to think Vickers did things like shopping. I just used to think they lived in the church and never went out. A bit like the Queen, really. Well, I'm sure the world would be a much safer place. Unfortunately, we're all just normal human beings. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> can Bella, can you 10p train? Yeah, of course you can. Right, cool. Come on, love. Let's see what we can find, but don't tell your mum, because it's all bad for you. What are you going to do with the rest of your holidays? What does it look like? All right, I got my flock, and you've got yours. Yeah, and if you ever need a hand with anything, you know, just give us a shout. It was all T-Rex and David Bowie when I was your age. Now it's church. Whatever next. Well, maybe the church is just a bit cool than it used to be, Aviv. I think this is it. Um, listen, Debbie, I'll give you a call if something comes up. If there's nothing to worry about, then why are you so wound up? Look, don't deny it. You've not been yourself and, and you're no good at hiding it. All right, all right. It's, it's this business between Pearl and Herr Frank Bernard. He's doing my head in. Well, what's the matter with him? Well, he's only spending seven years for fraud in Scarsdale, Nick, isn't he? She's trying to keep it quiet, but she's his only family. What can you do? Oh, I thought she was a dark horse, that one. Well, he's the dark horse, not her. She's the one having to live with it, and it's killing her. Why do you think she's been so quiet about it? Oh, go on, go on, call her whatever you're going to call her and get, her, get it done with. No, I'm, I'm just amazed. Yeah, I was a bit thrown myself. No, it's, it's not about calling anybody. It's, oh, that poor woman. No wonder she's been on edge every two minutes. Oh, yeah, but don't say anything, Edna. She'd kill me if she knew I was spreading it about. Oh, but surely there's something we could do for her, though. Well, it's nice if you just think like that, but I'd rather you left it to us to sort out. What do you intend to do? I don't know. Come on, madam. Let's get these claws off. What are you doing? That's time. Get your smelling back nice and sweet, eh? Just uh, leave her where she is, please. Zoe, I'm trying to do my job. I can do it myself today. 
And what about tomorrow? What about tomorrow? Well, you've been needing me a lot. Why would I not be needing you? Of course I'll be needing you, just not today. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll phone you in the morning, we'll take it from there, shall we? Well, if he thinks his father's a soft touch, times have changed, mm -hmm. and don't you forget it. Well, she needs a roof, and I need the rent. Oh, so we're going in for philanthropy now, are we? Um, uh, I know means... what it means, thank you very much. Uh, we'll find us a table. I mean it. I know. So no more bother. No, because we'll have to chuck you out. He's bigger than me. <laughs> now, what are you having? Uh, Pine, please. So what's he said now? Oh, just making little suggestions to me dad every chance he gets. All to do with worming his way further in. Jimmy, instead of worrying about what your Matthew's doing, why can't you just focus and concentrate on doing it yourself, only better? Because I'm not a smarmy little creep like he is. I know that, and you know that, and while it makes us both feel better, it gets us nowhere. Yeah, I love it. Thank you. Cheers, Dad. Cheers. Do you no good all that thinking? Yeah, well, I have to put in extra time for everybody else around here. I'd be wounded if I thought we're missing out on something. I got you a present. You are joking, aren't you? I got it from the garden centre on my way past. And what am I supposed to do with a plant? Uh, plant it. You nicked it, didn't you? <laughs> you know, there's no pleasing some people. I bought it. Yeah. Listen, I know your mum's pulled another one of her stunts. You must be pig sick. I reckon you're about due for the club badge, kid. You know, I just thought I could be no sister properly. Not just visiting like some kind of social worker. So it's not just about swanning about in that big house, then? Get lost. Although I have to say I won't miss Shadow Hat's feet. <laughs> Don't snap, but can you imagine if I ever get a proper boyfriend bringing him back here? There's no way. If you're that keen to get out, I could have a word with Andy. There's loads of room at that farm. But then you'd have your old man keeping his eye on you. So, no boyfriends. Not till at least 30. Are you serious? Not about being 30, I mean about me. Well, I just said it. I... Well, I don't know. Yeah. Why not? Just, well, have a think. Well, I'd have to speak to Lisa first. Yeah, so would I. Um, I'm hungry. Come on. Hey, you nicked this, didn't you? Right, let's tidy everything up, girls. Remember what Eric's like first thing in the morning. I come in. Is everything all right? Yeah, I just thought I'd come and meet you for a change. I, I, I'll wait outside now, I know you're still here. I'm, I'm not in trouble or anything like that. <laughs> has she been behaving herself? Oh, of course she has. Pearl, you just tidy your bits and then you can go. This tree was an acorn. Edward I was on the throne of England. The Crusades were still on. And the fact that Edward I was a man on horseback. I don't think Strid Woods can look all that different from what it was like 700 years ago. And those old vistas that John Cumberland... Can I go out on my bike? ...and make birds easier to see. We all have to stay together. These big trees that still remain, I mean, these are magnificent old oaks. They're native oaks. Yeah, yes, they're native. They're the Sassalo. Uh, In this room, just... Just sit down. Planting the young Sassalo seedlings from these oaks. Uh, in the tube, hey, it's next uh, to me. Come on. Tube. See if we can find a nice film. I hope uh, there will... There will... Are you sure I'm not in trouble? <laughs> oh. Here. I've not done this since Mum's birthday, when I was seven. <laughs> I don't think I've done anything to deserve these. But you put up with me being a pain in the backside instead of looking after you better. I'm the one who's let us down, not talking about it. Well, it did throw me this about your Frank Bernard, I must admit. But I reckon I went a bit over the top. Hey, don't you go running yourself down. You're a good man, Leonard Reynolds, and I'm lucky to have you. <laughs> Where'd you get the flowers? 
A pinch amount of Edna's garden. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how'd you manage to do that? That woman misses nothing. Well, I say pinched him. It was Edna that put me straight, really. She might be a nosy old battle axe, but she's warm-hearted underneath. You told Edna about my Frank Bernard? Well, you said yourself it's a relief to get it out in the open. You know, I've had Edna and Jarvis telling me all week how miserable I've been. I can't keep lying to them. You mean like I've been doing to you? No, no, no. Look, you're getting it all wrong now. Oh, no. Why did you do that? I mean, it'd be all over the village now. But it's not like that. You know, Edna's looking out for the both of us. Same as Jarvis. You know, we've got to trust them. We, we can't keep shutting everybody out. It's not trusting folk that's led to this in the first place. So it's easier to talk to them than it is to me, eh? Don't be daft, love. I just don't want any more secrets, that's all. Pearl! Come on. No more secrets, eh? No more secrets. That's my girl. Come on. 